My 18-year-old daughter sometimes sleeps over at her friend's house without letting us know in advance. She goes out on a Saturday night telling us that she'll be back around 2 a.m. and then doesn't show up until 10 a.m. on Sunday morning. Naturally, this really scares us and we're complaining about it to her. It's happened a few times already. She says that she doesn't call us because 2 a.m. passes, then it's 3 a.m., and she realizes that she's not come home yet and that she's going to sleep over, but at that point, she doesn't want to telephone us and wake us up in the middle of our sleep, which is thoughtful, I guess you could say, but it leaves us very, very worried. Who says we're sleeping at that time? We're scared out of our wits. She says that at 18 anyway, she's a big girl and can look after herself and that we shouldn't be worrying about her. Is that true? Should we stop worrying about her and just let her do what she wants? How should we be handling this? This is something that every parent and teenager works out individually in their own home. For example, in some homes, it's not ever going to be satisfactory for a child to stay out overnight without letting the parents know. And in some homes, this could cause a, a negative consequences to happen where the parent says, that's it, you can't go, you're grounded, you can't use my car, you can't, whatever. And the child at 18 still accepts parental discipline. In other homes, the child really doesn't go for this and the parents don't even know how to apply it. And what they do is more what we'll call less say fair type of parenting where the, child, where the parent simply says, um, okay, you're going out, have a good time and the parents go to sleep and really don't think about where the child is and don't wonder about it because a lot of the time the child is actually staying at friends' houses. So really it's up to you and your comfort level how you want to handle this with your child. If it worries you that she's out, well, does she have a cell phone that you can call? Can you work out an arrangement with her where if you're going to bed and she's not showed up yet, that you can call her and see what's happening? Or maybe you want to go to bed hours before she does, but you wake up at four o'clock and see she's not there. Do you want to be able to call her on your cell phone? Maybe you can problem solve with her, letting her know that you can't stop worrying, okay? You know that maybe she is a big girl and maybe she is looking after herself, but you want to know if she's safe and alive and everything else like that if you wake up in the middle of the night and she's not home. So perhaps you'll be able to work out something with her like that. People who love each other and care for each other try to make each other feel comfortable and you can stress that as well. It's not just a matter of being big. You're also big, but how would she feel if you just disappeared in the night and you know didn't let her know when she was sleeping in her bed and you just went out of town for a few days and didn't mention it to her? I'm sure she'd be worried. So you need to have kind of a heart-to-heart -heart and work out a compromise of some kind with this girl.